my typical day, let's say recently, uh, it's more of waking up, uh, doing my own chores, preparing, listening to some music, going for rehearsals, going for shows, yes, hanging out with family and friends time to time. My name is Philip Nzihia Pandufa. I am a drummer. Uh, my first experience with drumming, I'd say, is more of a uh, love at first sight. Uh, I started playing at church from watching uh, other people play. My cousin and uh, the drummer who was playing at church at that time. Uh, what inspired me to be a drummer, uh, I'd say is uh, I, I loved how it made me feel and also being around musically inclined people. I guess people associate drums with noise so they tend to think I'm an extroverted person and yeah, I'm, I'd say I'm not, I'm not a really loud person so yeah, the people don't understand how I am a calm person but when I'm playing drums I play a bit loud or I hit a bit hard. I listen to uh, a lot of genres, but uh, any day, anything that is funky, I definitely listen to it in a day. Anything funky. The first genre I interacted with definitely gospel because I started playing in church. Uh, the, the gospel songs I first interacted with uh, at church are. Feel, feel, feel a bit bluesy, uh, like it's a mixture of blues, rock, and a bit of the funk, and also the African African tunes, African genres. Yeah. Uh, I'd say I, I I I really love the sweetest taboo groove. I played it like a couple of times. <laughs> I, I love playing with Vic Far NE1 sticks. Yeah, I feel co so comfortable playing on the ground. What I do before a show mostly is uh, I have a conversation with myself. I, I try to make myself calm. When I get pressure uh, during a performance, I mostly try to focus on the on the music and on the artist I'm performing with. Uh, my biggest career highlights so far will be uh, at a show we did recently. And uh, there's someone who, a couple of people approached me and uh, uh, they liked my playing. And also, uh, I'd say the highlight of it all was, there was one who is, uh, who, she was playing drums before, but she kind of stopped. And she was like, now she'll come back to play drums. She said I inspired her to get back at it. And that was really something for me. Uh, I look up to a couple of people, uh, but to pinpoint uh, one, one, one would be 
the Stanley Randolph, like he's like an all-round person. Like when you think of groove, he has it. When you think of the chops, he has it. Like he's just like a whole package when he's when, when he's on his uh, spectacular drama. Uh, events I'd love to kill at. Uh, one 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 would be one would be uh, the Safaricom Safaricom Jazz yeah and and blankets and wines yeah I'd say the most difficult thing about being a drama is keeping time also in outside in outside the music like uh, being being going to rehearsals on time listening to music on time, doing everything like on time. Now that is the difficult part. <laughs> it requires discipline, yeah. Some of the challenges I've experienced is like, let's say I have, so, I have a couple of shows like back to back, uh, juggling the rehearsals, like sometimes some of them are like slotted on the same time period or yeah, or they are just so close to each other. Let's say I have one today, I have one tomorrow. Like a show, probably I've come home late today, like I get home at 1.30 a.m. or 2 a.m. The next morning I have to be up early probably for another rehearsal or something. I think that's actually sometimes a, a hard part. In the next five years, I'll, I'll definitely still be a drama. My advice to aspiring dramas would be, uh, based on a lot of experience, I'd say, like, take your time, take your time to me. Know what you want, know what you, uh, what you love, what you love doing. And yeah, just take take time, put in time to build in your craft, and it will definitely pay you back. Yeah, it's also never too late to like pick up your uh, your dreams or your aspirations. Yeah, it's never too late to pick up the advance. <laughs>